what up everybody welcome back vince here we are playing satisfactory this game has been out for a while but i have not played it until about a day or two ago and i got kind of deep into this game i started falling in love with it more than uh any game that i played in a very long time i think last time i loved the game this much was uh red dead redemption 2 but um yeah i thought i'd start streaming this and Usually I try to do uncut videos nowadays, but this one, since it's such a long time, I'm going to have to cut these down. So I uh, hope you all enjoy. And we're going to start up. And we're not doing the basic, very easy map. We're doing one level harder. So hopefully this will work out. There we go. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fix It Incorporated. Mm. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Pretty cool Make look sure to so refer far. Any unusual discoveries to R and D for analysis. Okay. On his pockets. Your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work hmm. and be effective. That's it. Might seem okay. simple, Planet but it's not. Imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. I love the, the graphics on this. It's cartoonish, but not. Five, four, three, two, oh, look at the little tag on the flashlight over there. <laughs> so we entered the atmosphere and I did play the other map so this is a completely new map to me so I don't know anything about this one but I will be going into this blind oh this looks so cool this is even new plants too This is so Got cool. Speed. I got a flashlight. I didn't have a flashlight last time. Oh, first steps. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. All Note, right. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. So I know we've got to tear this down. So F, tear down. Break that First down. Objective. Great. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective oh. and efficient. We do not waste. We even have water here. That's All gorgeous. Fix it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Gather some stuff. Uh, so where am I going now? Uh, oh, open the codex. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Yep. Note, Equip. according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer <laughs> should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Third objective. Oh, this little guy. yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Come here, come here. Ha ha ha. Note, Zap ya. The acquisition of iron is Zap you in the booty. essential in preparation for all future objectives. Don't come back here. 
There you go. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. Ooh. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Stupid hog. Alright. Press V to scan. Hold it. Yes. Go scan for ore. Oh my god. Yeah, some out there. Some over there. Yeah, so it's all back over on the other side of the river. So we're going to go back over here. Uh, this one's closer. Oh my god. Okay. There's three of them right here. <laughs> three nice uh, ores. Hey. You want to you wanna try to come at me? Come at me, bro. Let's get it. On your back. On your back. Oh, shit. He hit me. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, no. I don't like this, though. Three great ores, but there's a cliff. Um, Can I run conveyor belts off of this? Because down here would be a very nice area to do it. Yeah. Hold E to gather resources. Yeah, I've been doing that now. Oh, I hold it to gather it from here. Yeah. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Okay, Ensure a couple more. The hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. How easy for me to get up here? How to get up this way? Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. Let's scan for another area. This is three. There's no one over there. I think it's going to be the same. Yeah, let's take a look. I can even get up there though. Ooh, am I stuck? What? What is that? Oh crap! Why oh, is the spider? Arr. Oh shit! There's many. There's many of them. Oh no! Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh my god. Am I really about to die in the intro? Where is he? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a close call. Ooh. I already know what I already know how to do this. I have to eat something now. Oh, my God. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Hey, Arden. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, we have a new little beastie. Little, little beastie. <gasps> Ouch. Beastie. <Yeah. laughs> Any of your friends over here? I think not. And he hurts. Oh, this hub is... Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Uh huh. So hub upgrade one. It's like milestone. Okay. So we need to get 10 rods. We need to make the iron ingots. Then we need to turn them into rods. 
This is what 80% of the game is, is watching the screen right here. Unfortunately, but it gets better. Once we get into automation, it gets way better. Put the rods in there and upgrade it. Ooh, look at that. We already got a nice upgrade. And we got inventory too, thank. Right. Congratulations, you have unlocked building workshop. Equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable okay. miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Oh. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Right, thanks for the epic on there. Right, so we're going to do this milestone. So we need 20 rods, 10 sheets. Can we, can we make one of those? Craft bench? Oh. Uh, we don't have the resources. Okay, so let's get some more resources here. Get all the iron ingots made up. Because we're going to use a lot of them. Four rods. All right. We're just going to put that over here. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Beautiful. So now we can make the miner. Which we also have to have two more plates and four rods total. So we need to make some more stuff over here so we can do that. It's just kind of reminding me of World of Warcraft. <laughs> A little bit where you go kill 50 boars. Just so you can go off and kill 50 boars. This right here is the beginning of automation. This is early automation. I'm going to do... Let's do two of them. Actually, three. We'll do three. Because I know we're going to need one for iron. We're going to need one for copper. And we're going to need one for... Um, I can't remember the name of... Um, sandstone. So here's our iron. Oh, look at that glorious little bastard. He reminds me of Wally. Ooh. This is cool. This really is cool. But he's just going to sit there and mine for me. And he's already got 27 pieces of iron ore. I can put one over there. I can put one here. Actually, I want to save it for the copper. Oh, I have to just upgrade the hub to two. I have to upgrade, upgrade this to level two. So we need just 14 more rods. And that's enough. Put those in. Now, the upgrades get really cool, though, too. I've seen where there's an attachment on here that sends the rocket with your uh, with your materials up into space. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Yep, Note, limestone. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. That I know of. All right, so this one we have to do... You have to do 20 iron plates, 20 rods, and 20 wires, which we need the copper. But we can search for copper now. That one's close-ish. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I unequipped my weapon. Oh. Oh, you hurt. Ouch. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
There we go. There we go. All right. Now, we get to put this one on this one. Then after a while, once it's all upgraded and everything, I can make this a fully automatic uh, miner with an assembly line going off to the uh, quarry. Here we go. Go speed race, sir. And, yep, more crafting. <laughs> All right, so we've got the plates, the rods, the wire. Oh, let's throw all these in there. Beautiful upgraded pieces, and we have... Oh. Nice. Yeah, it's getting quite big. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Mm. Eighth objective. Complete hub upgrade for note. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Hub upgrade four. Oh god, yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of stuff. Oh, we need to get some silicone too, or some sandstone. So iron plates are easy to do. The the wire cable is easy to do because all it is is a wire turning the cable. That the concrete we need to uh find the sandstone. Ooh, let's go ahead and find that. Limestone. I'm sorry, limestone. Ooh, that's close. Oh, that's right here behind us. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Ouch! What was that? Maybe this isn't so perfect. Oh, I died. I died on intro stuff. I hope that everything in my inventory is still over here on the ground. Oh, I'm about to die again. Holy crap. Okay, maybe we don't need to go after that one. Maybe we don't need to go there. Um... We can find somewhere else. We can find somewhere else. As I eat and heal up. Man, that hurts. Why? Why are you chasing me? Why were they? Y'all saw that, right? They were literally chasing me. There's got to be a way we can take them out. Are there any bees? Any bees? Nope. Perfect. Got me some limestone, dumb limestone, some limestone. Wow. I'm getting quite a bit out of it before it Okay, never mind, before it broke. All right. We're going to throw our... Oh no, we dropped the automatic drill too when we died. Okay. I will find out how to uh how to do that. That should be enough. So at least we know where that is. And we know that there's limestone without bees. Alright. <coughs> shit. Yeah. Alright. Time for the next upgrade. And do I have my rocket yet? I don't. Congratulations. You have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles. Inventory Thank God. additional slots. Ninth objective. Complete hub upgrade five. Note. Portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Okay. Tanner. Oh, that's what we want right there. So we have to finish this up right there, and then we get that fully automatic um, miner. Okay. 75 rods. Oh, my God. 
That's so much. Oh, at least we have enough iron for the rods, though. We don't have enough concrete, though. We're going to have to go back and get our limestone. Alright. Time to go get the sands, the uh, limestone. See if I don't die again. Limestone? No, that's a copper. Oh, the limestone's down here. Ooh! Almost ran off the edge. Ooh! Almost pushed me off the edge. Crap. Yes, there is fall damage, though. I did find that out the hard way on my last map. Is this it? I think this is it. I'm so lost already. Oh, I don't. I didn't have the thing here because I didn't have them uh, built. I forgot to build them too. Okay. When we get back up there, I have to build one. What is this? I didn't see this here. Canturium ore. What? New technologies can be developed based on this new superconductive gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. I didn't know that it just randomly pops up like that. All right. Finish crafting the rest of this stuff so we can go ahead and finish that so we can make conveyor belts. Okay. I'm ready for my conveyor belts. Send it. Oh, we got another biomass murder. Biomass burner. You have unlocked building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub feature additional biomass burner. Tenth objective. Complete hub upgrade six. Note, there are no notes. Ooh. Biomass, biomass burner, space elevator. Oh my god, the space elevator elevator is so large. It is giant. Um, real fast. Let's. What does it take to get the uh, minor mark one? We need ten plates, ten concrete, and a mini one. Okay. We need to make some more plates. Uh. We don't have everything we need. Back to gathering. Wait, can I disassemble this guy? I don't know why, but I'm not allowed to disassemble those. <laughs> well, we do have enough already for one. So I would say let's go ahead and put one down. Uh, since there's mine right here, mine right there. So we have two mines together. We could tie them pointed that direction. Yeah. There. Oh, yes. First mine. Hell yeah. That way so we can go out there in the open, do some factory work on it, and then we can turn it around. All right, all right, now we're getting somewhere. But we have to power it. So we are gonna have to put a power station. There. Connect it to the power station. Connect this all the way over here. Right there. Did it not hook up? There. All right, cool. So now that's got power. Or actually, technically, no, not yet. 
Um, first, we have to give the generator a some fuel. And give it. Mm, give it some leaves. You know, we can make biofuel. I believe. Uh, no biofuel just yet. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna start throwing some of this stuff in there. There it goes. Oh, that is such a beautiful sight. That was I can't actually get up on top and stay up there. Can I? Yes. Ooh. Okay. We are mining ore right now. And it collects a lot. Quite a bit. So all we have to do is come up here. And we gather. And I'm going to just let it do its own thing. So now we are going to get a limestone. We need 20, at least 20 more limestone, or technically 60, says it's three per concrete. So we can make one of those miners for each one of the other pods. Oh, God. I don't know where, where I want to have this one pointed to. I don't know if it's good to bring it even and then down the slope over there, or if it's, or if it's even possible to have it drop off the edge. I think it's possible to drop it off the edge. I think it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point it directly at the home. You forget how big it is. I'm close. Yeah, right there. All right. And I forgot we still have the power of these up too. So now we're gonna have to run a cable all the way up there. Ah, the struggle's real sometimes. Struggle's real, even after I have to do the limestone one down here at the other corner. All right. We can see our mine up there, or, or a copper up there, way up there. Now this one, I'm going to take a little different approach. Actually, no, I'm going to do the same thing. One here. Don't walk off backwards. That's good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, out of curiosity, how much is it going to be? Because we can pre-lay out everything on here and see how much material we're going to need. So, just out of curiosity, we're already up to... Bear belt is too long. We're over to about 60. Oh, we're going to have to do it in pieces. Like one there, one up here. Okay, so we're going to have to do concrete too. Which means, good thing we're down here. And we're going to do concrete, a couple concretes, and a couple cables, too. So this is going to be quite a bit, quite a bit of, um, quite a bit of harvesting. <laughs> I'll put it that way. So I forgot that the smelter takes copper cable. And we just turned all of our copper cable into, copper wire into cable. So we're having to manually do the copper ore now. But since we're up here... And we already have this installed. On the way back down, we're going to go ahead and run the power line all the way down there. Uh, that way, so we at least get this thing started up and running so it can start gathering copper for us. Um, just a little bit more of this. All right. I think it's time. Oh, my God. We can't do it just yet because now we have to use that copper to turn into the wire. And then we have to go back up there. So we're going to run a cable all the way down there. Let's see how much it's going to cost us. 
gonna cost us oh actually not that bad not bad at all all right time it is time to power this beast up oh no forgot you need to run up here make a power pole station so i can actually branch it off because if not i put it directly to that then we're not going to be able to power anything else up here um yeah it's not that bad it's just annoying there okay so puts this to there now that gets to run all the way down here back <laughs> all the way to the base with this Wire's too long, huh? Oh no. We're gonna have to do it in increments. On there. Okay. Then from there to here. That has stuff in it. Let's check a look at, at our iron mine. Since it has, been, it has been running. Oh my god, I cannot talk today at all. Yeah, it has 100 stored in there. Let's take it out so we can start making some more. And the copper mine up there should be making some right now as we speak. Which, this scares me because that means... We're going to have to do this cable in increments, too. Why are too long? Put that there. Oh, that's going to be a multi-section. Why are too long again? there then one more to there what? this should be powered up now should be yep it's running beautiful All right, so the first thing to do with this one, I already know. Conveyor belt down, down to here. All right, now, oops, wrong button. We're going to make constructor. Think that's the right one? I'm not sure. Yeah, a constructor. So, const oh god, I forgot how big things are. And we don't have everything. Oh, we have to have reinforced plates too. All right, all right. All right it's gonna be a minute while I make some of that stuff. So yeah, I changed my mind. First thing first, we're gonna build a smelter for the iron ingots because it takes a lot of iron ingots to do anything in this game. Over there. All right. The bear belt. From here to there. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Now this. Now the miner's pushing all the ore into the smelter. Now we just gotta power it. So here to there. Power it up. And wrong button again. God, Vince, what's wrong with me? We gotta tell it what to make. Make iron ingots. God, that's so nice. No more having to do the click, 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 over and over and over. I think I ran out of power. Yep, I did. Something happened over here. 
Ah, I just ran out of fuel. 80 leaves per minute? Oh my god, it takes them so many. How many of these? 12 wood per minute. I'm going to go with the leaves because there's so many leaves I have. Okay. And now we have to do a storage. Storage container. Oh, we can't afford it too. Yes. Actually, let's do a little bit opposite here. Go back. There. I don't want to go all the way out into the middle of open area. There we go. And now we have iron bars being made for us. Instead of having to just save a hundred of them, it's going to save uh, three, six, eight stacks, 16, 24 stacks of a hundred. Now we can store 2,400 iron bars in this storage container. We don't have to worry about that until it runs out of fuel. Um, <laughs> so since we have an iron completely done now, Let's see how much we have. Yeah, I already made 25 of them. Perfect. Now, I gotta just do that for the other two lines up there. Okay, so we gotta think. This is the copper mine. We need to think of how we want... Let's go ahead and take the copper out so we can keep mining some more. We need to think about how we're going to set up the smelter and the storage. So I'm thinking that we're going to do a smelter to a constructor to make it into cables and then store it. So yeah, let's do it that way. We will do production smelter. Oh, this is fickle. This is finicky right there. Okay. So a conveyor belt into that. Hook the power up. All right. And we gotta tell it what to do. Make copper ingots. Next, we're going to make a constructor. Face it this way. Is it too much power on the system? Oh god, I hope not. I hope not. Bear bell from there to here. And we want to make copper wire. Perfect. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, God. Still getting over the flu. Yep. So, miner into smelter. Smelter those have the bars out bars go in and it creates beautiful copper wire last thing set a storage up um can we afford a storage no we can't we're too short for the the iron plates so oh god okay um real fast before we actually start buying stuff for the other one this one, uh, yeah, I can make concrete out of that one. So, the limestone down there on the bottom, we're going to use constructor for that one because we don't have to actually smelt it. We just have to construct it from limestone to concrete, and that's it. Then we're done. So, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to make a lot more items. That is a beautiful sight. Coming up, my iron mill is working. It's making the bars, mining it, making the bars. And it's placed it in here for me. And I already made almost 300 and I've been away for maybe five minutes. Perfect. I still have to make the plates and the rods though. But that's what's great about this is because I can actually make two constructors here. One to make the rods, one to make the plates. And also after the rods are being made, I can split it up to store it or I could actually make screws. So there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential. Actually, I might actually go off and do that at first. <laughs> I don't know. I might be getting my head of myself a little bit. 
Yeah, so whenever you trip out the power like that, you have to come back here, you have to reset your, your thing. There it goes. You have enough grass? Yeah, there you go. More grass. All right, make concrete. Yes. So hopefully now I should be able to buy the, um, the portable power generator and I can put just those two cells down there on their own power generator and leave everything else up here on this one because this one's going to ha have a quite a bit to it. So I'm going to have to have them uh, separated. Now, since we have a lot of everything, um, put the copper in, put the concrete in, load up. We have a rocket ship yet. We don't. Congratulations. You oh, we do. Unlocked. Building space elevator. Building biomass burner. Heart biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. Ooh. On behalf of Fix It Incorporated, I thank you for your there it is. future service. Oh, nice. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fix It approved protocols. A biomass, Note. we could. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. Good luck. Yeah. That space elevator is going to be extremely large. I will say that. That thing is massive. But we can also now make biomass fuel. So, just to make this a little bit easier for us as far as energy efficiencies go, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of these. And I'm going to convert everything into biomass. Just because it's going to save us a lot in the end run. Uh, yeah, craft a ball. Now, since we've done that, we've converted biomass. Now, biomass is only using seven per minute. So this, we have a lot longer time with our, uh, with our fuel. So now, let's see what the next mission is for us to do. We have a branch to go off of. Yeah, we have tier one and tier two. So tier one is base building. Tier two, tier one is base building logistics where that's what we're definitely gonna need as far as our assembly line goes because we're gonna have to make splitters and mergers for some of our production goes. And oh, with this upgrade, you see the efficiency of each building. I didn't see that before. Oh, huh. the MAM is great. MAM gets us to uh, research stuff. Object scanner. Yeah, so these are all going to be good. The base building, I'm not going to use too much. I'm not going to use that much, but I'm going to stick with logistics first. So, go ahead and put whatever we can in here on logistics. Uh, so, all we have to have is rods and plates. Yeah. Not bad. So, since we're already making iron, uh, iron ingots, which we should have a lot. Yeah, 400. Um, a shouldn't be that much to uh, get the rest of these done and as of always i'm going to jump cut because i'm pretty sure y'all don't want to just sit here and watch this for about 20 minutes okay it really wasn't quite 10 minutes 20 minutes but still it's more than i'm comfortable letting this record for <laughs> put those in put those in and we get to hit the launch button for our rocket outside milestone reached Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Verticality. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Yeah, I'm going to do this one now next because more inventory slots, hand slot, yeah. And it shouldn't be that hard to do. Oh god, what, what do we need for that though? Plates, screws, copper. So we already know that we have copper up here being made for us. Um, we just have to make the plates and make the screws. Okay, so first things first. I took the conveyor belt out. I have to put a splitter here to tell 
the the bars to go multi direction. So they come in split up. Right here off the front, it's going to be a plate. After the plate, it's going to go right back around there, straight back in store. Outside of there, then it's going to go the side right there. And this side is going to be rods. After rods, it's going to split again to another storage. Or it's going to go back around and, and uh, turn into a screw station, making screws. And then merge back and then go back inside of there. So give me a minute, and this is going to take me a second. <laughs> okay, I've been hard at work at this for a little bit. I hope we have enough power, <laughs> because I added a whole other secondary uh, power supply down there, and I don't think that this is going to be enough. But we will test it out, because... Oh, God, what has power and what doesn't have power? Let me just walk you all through this real fast. So we have our miner here, right? He mines 120 per minute, but he mines it so fast that one smelter can't keep up with it. So it goes in here to the splitter. It goes to one smelter and smelter number two. So it smells two because they're at 60, 30 a minute. Oh my God. I could, if that's, I could actually have four smelters going together and it would be still making faster than the, the uh, smelters can keep up with. Anyway, I have a split this two smelters. After the two smelters, they're both going to make iron bars. Both come out, and they're both going to come to a convert, uh, come out to a constructor. This constructor is going to make iron plates. Since iron plates don't get converted into anything at all, they are going to just go right into there and come straight back to storage. This is where things get a little tricky. This one, on the other hand, is going to make iron rods. Iron rods get made, used by themselves. So I have a splitter here with the convert with the merger. So it splits iron rods over to that one and here. So it can right there. All the iron rods go half the iron rods go into storage. The other half of the iron rods go into that constructor, which turns the iron rods into screws. Ah. <sighs> Now I just have to hook up the power to everything and see if it works. See if I have to add more power because I added a, a whole third power station just for this. Anyway, um, yeah, we will see. It's the moment of truth. It is the moment of truth to see if this turns on and if I don't trip it out. Oh. Oh. It is handling it. It is handling it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if everything works right. Uh, he's making the ore, so he is grinding it up. Shit. This guy's splitting it, and it is going into both of these two spells. Both of them are making bars. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. This guy is making his place like he should be, and those plates are getting separated to storage. This guy is making rods like he's supposed to. His, uh, some rods are going that way, the other rods are going this way, and that machine is making the screws. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> you had no clue how rough this was to do. I can't believe this is actually running on one power cell. This was a lot. This was a lot. But just look at this, though. Oh my god, this is just... <sighs> I'm going to get deep into this game. I already know it. I know how deep into this game I'm going to get. Because we're making... It's been... I only let it run for like, what, three, maybe five minutes? We already raid 100 plates, 100 screws, and 27 rods. Uh, let's take all of that. Let's take all of that because we still have to do our, mile, our uh, milestone research. See how close we got to it with this. Oop, oop, wrong, wrong, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we're done with the place. We just have to have more screws now. Man, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's going to make life a, a whole lot easier because right now I am at the point, what, two hours into this play? I'm only two hours into this, and I'm at the same point I was in the other map, ten and a half hours into it. So... It's really good to know certain things. 
I'm taking this out because we're not using this one anymore. We disconnected it. Uh, he has some good stuff, so I'm going to move that biomass over to this one. Just top him off. Hopefully he can keep going for a long time. Hmm. All right. I'm going to take a look at what else we can do if I'm going to keep going. If. Um, what I might end up doing, I might just, I don't need the rods just yet technically, so what I'm going to end up doing is I might just turn off the rod machine. This one here. No, that's plates. Those rods. Oh, it's the combiner. So, okay. So what I can do technically, if I don't need rods, I can just delete this one conveyor belt. Ah. Now, every single rod is coming through, getting turned into screws. Every rod. No more just rods are coming in. All I have to do uh, next time is just rehook that up. Rehook that up to this point, and we can start making rods again. Easy. I wish we, I really did wish we could uh, turn certain directions on and off, though. I see a little friend. Will he let us pet him or kill him? Pet him! Pet him! Pet the lizard dog! Lizard dog! I've killed you in other places, but I'm actually letting you live right now. And you're running away. <laughs> yeah, we only needed 132 now, and we have 250. I forgot it makes 40 per minute. So yeah, that was like only not much. That was like six minutes or so. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, we can finish this milestone up now. And send the rocket. The map has been unlocked. Oh, we unlocked the map too. Oh, there it is on this side. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. Oh, we can to ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and oh. beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. So the MAM is the research center. Oh my god, I hate how that thing is right there though. I might set the MAM up against this wall here. I might do that. I might have to let's see here. Special MAM. Can you build it? Oh, we need five wires. Okay. So I'll do five I'll do the wires real fast. Uh shouldn't be that bad. Nope, we can't. I need to go grab us some copper. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, next is to do the base building. Um, I'm not a fan of the base building stuff, in, in particular myself. I mean, it'd be nice to have a look at tower, but I'm just gonna go ahead and knock all these out real fast, and I'll jump to the next part. All right, finally, got it all done. Send this rocket ship out to space. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the force Ooh. needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Oh. We can actually build a factory building now, essentially. It's, it's all it is, it's having your mine right there and having flooring all throughout there so everything is nice, even, and flat. Uh, that's all that it does. But we finished that milestone. So next we are on tier two milestone, which is assembler, copper sheets, rotator, or, or rotor, I'm sorry, rotor. Then you have a new conveyor belt. Oh, these conveyor belts are faster conveyor belts. A stackable conveyor belt. Oh. Build gun upgrade customizer. So that lets us paint stuff. Awesome shop, awesome sink. I don't know what those do. Jump pad makes you lets you jump really far. I think we're gonna do this one, the chain, the uh, obstacle clearing, because we want the chainsaw for the wood to cut trees down. Puts a solid biofuel, gives us more energy efficient for all of our stuff, and we have more uh, 
And we also have more, um, what's it called? I cannot talk right now. We have more inventory slots. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start cracking at this. Um, we don't have too much stuff, but we have a little thing, a little bit. I can't believe I forgot, but I had the conveyor belt turned off over there to the machine, so... Oh my god, I have to rebuild that conveyor belt real fast so I can uh, turn it back on. Uh, what do I need? I need plates, I need rods, and I need concrete. Oh, do I not have concrete? I don't have concrete. Um, I'll be back. Making my way down here all the way again just for concrete. All right. Concrete in, screws in, send this off for a launch. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure uh -huh. maximum efficiency of biomass burners. We have biofuel now. Biofuel production. You are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Oh, we're gonna make. R and D inflated your pocket dimension. I hate talking over her. But make all the biomass, make solid biofuel because solid biofuel lasts so much longer. And we get so much more out of it. Speaking of which, we also have a little bit of biofuel in here. Yep, 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 yep. Get all these goodies. Yep, and make all this into biofuel. All of it. There we go. <laughs> we have to wait three more minutes until the rocket ship comes back, and then we'll see what our next, next task is. Okay, so our next mission is to build the space elevator. Right? So, we have to find a big open area because this is how big it is. That's way far away. And we need a lot of material. Yeah. Actually, just to give you a better idea, I'm gonna walk over this edge and point down so you can actually see exactly how big it really is on the ground below, like over a cliff. Uh, Let's see, can I do it down here? Yeah, yeah, let's do it here. Yeah, that's how big it is. It is massive. So I'm gonna be working at getting all that supplies for the space elevator, which is at the to-do list. Oh yeah, it's um, yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot of material. I'll be working on this, and hopefully I can finish this before the end of the stream today. Because right now, I'm about three, almost three and a half hours into this game. And yeah, it's, so far, it's pretty good. I like it. All right, so I've been thinking of where to put this space elevator at. Now, since I have all the gear for it, all the equipment, we can do it. Space elevator. We are, you are going to go right here. Oh, shit. What's the best way to put you? Like that? Yeah. Oh my god, look how big that thing is. Uh, it took so much resources to do this. Woo! Look at the size of that. And look at here, here comes the elevator from space coming down to connect. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm gonna try to get further away so I can see it better. Man. That thing is just massive. But that is our elevator. Yep. And now we have to make these things, which is two different items. Plus we have to use an assembler for it. We cannot build it by hand. So, oh, in order to get to tier three and tier four, we have to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this. I'm going to stop the recording now. Thank you all so much for watching on YouTube there. Um, if you all are interested in this, hit follow, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Uh, come over to Twitch and watch the live stream. 
answer, uh, ask whatever questions you have if if you are interested. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out and um, watching until the end if you did. Anyway, I'm gonna stop recording, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna farm. I'm gonna get a bunch of a bunch of materials because I already know where we're gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything uh, lined up for tomorrow's tomorrow's play. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I'll see you all next time.